All right, so I figured I'd just make a quick uh, closure, kind of more focused on closure uh, video. Maybe this is mostly for beginners or, or whatever. Um, I do find it kind of interesting and I keep getting reminded that I need to think about this. I mean, I already know that P PMAP is, uh, has a limitation that it's ordered and it doesn't use a proper thread pool and all that stuff. So it has many limitations. So I I added the, uh, uh, what's it called again? Projects, let's see. Yeah, clay pool, this library. And, uh, and, uh, and that's what I'm using here, the unordered PMAP. So, so the map is a normal closure map. PMAP is the also built-in function enclosure for parallel map. The problem with this is, is that it, it executes things in, in order. So the results come out in order. I'll just run this and you will, you will see. The, the difference in, in performance is massive. But it, it's only specific to to these kind of scenarios. I mean, in some cases, let's just run it, let's check it out. This is gonna take a while. Should be about uh, 10, 13 seconds. Yeah, 13. And the other ones come pretty darn fast. Uh, actually, this UP map tends to be faster than this. It's probably because Maybe some disturbances from a recording, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, th this doesn't mean anything like, this doesn't mean that you should use uh, PMAP or UPMAP in all cases, right? It means nothing like that. People, <laughs> actually no, it can never be faster than this, of course, uh, when I think about it. Uh, you know, I already know how, how fast it will be because I'm actually not using doing calculations, I'm just doing sleep to, to, to simulate a cal calculation here. Uh, anyway, um, and as you can see, the order of the arguments returned, I mean, it, for map and pmap, they match the input order, which is from 500 uh, to, to uh, and, and, and down, right? And it was always come come in this order five hundred to fifty five hundred to to, to uh, so it steps down by negative ten each time. All right, let's try it. Right, range five hundred fifty negative nine like that. Yeah. So you see, not inclusive at the end there. So it ends at fifty nine. Right. But isn't that nice? Isn't that interesting? Sometimes you really don't care about the order of your data. So of course here you get the fastest one first because you're actually sleeping based on the x argument here, which uh, this is the which is the value here, which is also what you're returning from the map as is. So of course you get the the fastest one, the one that sleeps the shortest amount of time first, right? But it really, so it kind of looks like it's rever reverse order in this case, but it really is random order. Uh, uh, it totally depends on the uh, what your CPU is doing in the background, or if it's jumping to something else or whatever. Yeah, I think that's enough. I, I mean, uh, I, I, in my code hand in the, the back test the thing, I started with map here, then I switched to PMAP. I knew that that, that that was not optimal, you know, EMAP. But I figure it's better than, it's certainly better than this one, right? So, uh, but yeah, this one is certainly superior in turn and it can be significant, uh, even more so later on. Uh, I mean, who knows? But, but this is the correct thing to do in my case. Though still, you know, this, this code, uh, you know, I'm I'm using a, a, a thread pool here, which I'm reusing, right? So I'm not putting, creating, and tearing down a lot of threads like that. that so that's kind of nice, you know. Um, but but I'm guessing that it would still be better to just have an UP map at 
sort of uh, at the top here as a sort of CBUP map somewhere here uh, and that would actually take that like the yeah but then I have to rearrange the code uh, and uh, really start to think about what to do about like this thing here for example which takes the two variations of the state you know and uh, I really had to keep track of that stuff I didn't want to spend kind of time thinking about that so, so that's why I'm just I think it's reasonable to just use reuse the same thread pool like this and call up map uh, several times like this i think it's okay i should test for that of course uh, uh, but i will leave it like this for now and uh, later when i test i will rearrange the code uh, but i won't do spend a lot of time doing that now because maybe i will i mean i will then rearrange the code into something that's a little bit harder to read and for me and uh, uh, and if I do that uh, both read and deal with if I do that it must be, be because I'm already finished with the general sort of structure of the system here and uh, and you should optimize last right so and uh, so that's why I'm not doing that but these kinds of optimization are pretty much free I mean so you go from you start with map like that, that's very okay you understand what's going on it's okay it's lazy though so you need to think a little bit about that it's it's i mean i mean that this because it's lazy this means that actually map the first one here can in some cases be significantly faster uh than the other ones uh though pmap is also lazy it doesn't come uh, at least to a certain extent it doesn't consume the entire kind of input uh, collection given to it uh, but yeah so that actually means that <laughs> in some cases uh, map or perhaps pmap can be significantly faster than up map in some cases but not in my case and okay so my point was that yeah these this is the base kind of what I start with when I write this stupid little code thing here and you sort of get free optimization when you uh, that's it that's it. kind of a change in your code and then you get, get a free massive uh, I mean what's that from 13,000 something 14,000 to 500 that's like a 96 96.4% I think 96 96 uh, <laughs> improvement you know that, that that's i mean and, and you don't change the general structure of the code much at all you just uh, in my case i wanted a dedicated trade book for this so i add that at an out layer and i just rename a couple of calls to map to, to this right and super nice i i just think it's such a nice thing and the reason i can do it is because uh, my various objects in the system, uh, the tra trader objects, uh, uh, see a trader, uh, they are the records which are immutable, uh, and the trade objects too, uh, they are also the records which are immutable, which means that they are trend safe, right? If I'm not doing something totally crazy somewhere that they should be trade safe and stuff right uh, <laughs> so that means that yeah you can do this kind of changes and you get uh, and you and you can do them basically for free i think that's fantastic i think that's super nice you know uh, i think that's all for this video bye